Hey guys, it's Adam back with a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something very interesting and which is removing the Android lock screen without losing any data whatsoever. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so just like I said, you can be able to remove your lock screen if it's a pattern or a password or even a fingerprint sensor. You can remove it without lo losing any data. All you need is a computer and it has to be Windows. Alright guys, but before we start, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I post, okay? Thank you so much for watching and watch the video. So as you can see guys, I'm on my Windows computer and it's running on Windows 7. It runs on every Windows version as well. You need to go to the link in the description and make sure to install this application. After the application is downloaded, make sure to open it and install it. So the application installs it and it takes about five or six minutes, but I'm going to fast forward it because I don't want to make this video a long tutorial. I just want to simply explain it. So I'm just going to easily fast forward it. Alright guys, so as you can see now the installation has been completed. Now we're, we're going to do is going to launch the application. So once you do that, you're going to open the application and make sure to have your phone ready and standby. And the, as you can see, there's one option where it says lock screen removal. Just make sure to click that. And as you can see, this option is going to allow us to have our phones unlocked without losing data, any sort of data, okay? So as you can see, after clicking on it, make sure to click on start. And after that, you have to connect your Samsung Galaxy or any Android device that you have. And before I forgot to mention, I will. Uh, there's a link in the description. It has a list of all the uh, phones compatible for this unlocking. Okay, so make sure to check that out before doing anything. Okay, so after you connect your phone, you will have this option shown to you. And as you can see, uh, it's asking for your phone and for its brand. So as you can see, mine is a Samsung. It's a Galaxy S5, so make sure to choose that and then choose the model of the Galaxy S5. Mine is the European version, I'm just going to easily choose European. If you don't know how to know which kind is yours, just make sure to search the IMEI on the internet. And when you see this option shown to you, make sure to type in confirm on your keyboard. C-O-M-F-I-R-M, -M, okay? Just make sure to type that and then press on OK. And it's going to ask you to put your phone into download mode. Now how you're going to do that is very easy. The first thing you have to do is go to turn off your smartphone, okay? Just power off your smartphone, okay? After it's fully powered off, you need to click on the down volume down and the home button and the power button all in the same time. So just make sure to click them all in the same time at one, two, three, the power button, the home button and the uh, volume down button, it has to be clicked all on the same time and once you hear the phone vibrating and you have this uh, thing shown to you once you have that your yours is going to be probably in english but mine is in chinese it's no different just make sure to press on the volume up and then it will go to download mode and the application will automatically complete its uh, its progress okay so as you can see the the thing on the lower back of the application is shown as you can see now it says downloading recovery package and after that it's going to recover your phone and i'm also going to uh actually skip or i don't know fast forward the video because it takes a bit of time mine took 10 minutes and as you can see it's fast forwarding and um, once it's done the application will automatically leave your smartphone on download mode or maybe sometimes it automatically exits it and it goes to your phone home screen but mine didn't i'm just going to wait a couple of minutes and it, if it keeps doing that i'm going to automatically turn off the the smartphone as you can see now it's not doing anything but it's uh, successfully uh, bypassed the lock screen so i'm going to grab my phone and as you can see the phone is on its home screen without it asking me for the password and as you can see i still have all my data all my applications saved there's nothing deleted on it there's nothing removed it's just like how you control your device with you typing the password okay so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and comment below if you have any questions thanks a lot